Welcome to wikitiki.com. Here is on the top 10 network performance monitoring tools we are going to discuss now. My name is Venkat. I am a Microsoft most valuable professional. You are able to see my profile in microsoft.com. Apart from this, I got 16 international awards and among that, 9 awards are from Microsoft. First thing we should understand about the network. Network is nothing but interconnection of computers. A computer network is a set of computers connected together for the purpose of sharing their resources. The most common resource shared today is the connection to the internet. The other shared resources can include a printer or a file server to access the data. If we talk about the advantages of network, it's really simple. We are able to share the data. The files can be stored on a central computer, allowing data to be shared throughout an organization. The files can be backed up easily when they are in the central server rather than scattering across the independent workstations. The networks also allow security to be established, ensuring that the network users may only have access to certain files and applications. So if you talk about the monitoring, the network administrator can monitor the entire network like virus management, event log management, update management, patch management, proactive monitoring and alerts, remote remediation and asset tracking. These are some of the very important tasks of a network administrator. And there are a lot of varieties of tools available for network monitoring. And our intention is network performance monitoring tools. If we talk about the network performance monitoring tools, we have to think about the network traffic analysis and also device performance monitoring. These areas are coming under network performance monitoring. And apart from this, if we talk about application performance monitoring, the response time of an application and the retrospective packet analysis of an application. And if it is a wipe performance monitoring, the wipe quality of experience. So these are all very important jargons of monitoring in the network. So still further digging about our application driven network, network performance management. You should have your dashboard. Not only application, your network performance monitoring application, you should have your dashboard and your network traffic analysis tool. You have to check the response time of the application and the unified communication, the quality of experience of the user. And finally, anomaly detection. If there is any issue, you have to identify. These are the areas or add-ons which provides an effective network performance monitoring and also application driven management. Coming to the ranking, the rank 10 tool is the DUE. The DUE network monitor is a new application that monitors devices and alerts you in case some service problem. You are able to see the tool here. It can also automatically scan all devices within a specific sub subnet. Draw and lay out your map of our network. Using due network monitor tool, we first choose connect to your local or remote network and specify authorizations accordingly. On clicking the settings tab over here, to configure the options for SNMP, polling, syslog and you are able to generate reports. And here is the URL to download the due tool from tomskid.com So the rank 9 tool is Nagios. It is a powerful network monitoring tool that helps to ensure the critical systems, applications and services are always up and running. It provides the features such as alerting, even handling and reporting. 
Nagios is popular due to its active development community and external plugin support. Here is the tool, you are able to see it here. There are varieties of options here, you can select it and you can manipulate it. We can create and use external plugins. It got an option of adding external plugins in the form of executable files or Perl and shell scripts to monitor and collect metrics from every hardware and software used in the network. Once if you install and configure Nagios, we can use the web UI and begin to configure the host groups and service groups. And here is the download URL for Nagios tool. Let's move on to the rank 8 software or tool that's advanced IP scanner. So advanced IP scanner will scan all the machines like this. You are able to see the IP and what is the manufacture and you will be extracting the MAC address and everything. So advanced IP scanner is a reliable network scanner to analyze the LAN. The app scans all network devices, gives access to shared folders and FTP servers. It provides remote control of computers and can even remotely switch computers off. Advanced IP scanner is a fast and easy to use network scanner that detects any network devices including wireless devices such as mobile phones, printers and Wi-Fi routers on our network. The installer allows to fully install the application on our machine or run the portable versions. Use IP scanner start by going to settings, options to select which resource to scan, over here the settings is here. We can choose which subnet to scan and proceed with the pressing the scan button here and that particular subnet is scanned. Once the scan is complete, expand the results to see which resources we are able to connect to each discovered device and here is the URL to download your advanced IP scanner. The next tool is Network Miner. Network Miner is a network forensic analysis tool for Windows. Network Miner can be used as a passive network sniffer packet capturing tool in order to detect operating systems, sessions, host names and open ports. The purpose of Network Miner is to collect data about who's on the network rather than to collect data regarding the traffic on the network. Network Miner can extract files and certificates transferred over the network by parsing a PCAP file or by sniffing traffic directly from the network. So Network Miner tool download URL is this one. You can download it from this particular URL. Let's move on to the next tool that's uh, Splunk. It's a rank 6. Splunk is considered as one of the latest and also famous tool in network performance monitoring. Here is the snapshot of Splunk. Splunk is a data collection and analysis platform that allows to monitor, gather and analyze the data from different sources on our network. Splunk gives a real-time access to data across network and add any kind of data to Splunk to create custom analytics and gain insights into our operations. It is used for setup alerts to notify when something is wrong or use Splunk's extensive search, reporting and dashboard features to make the most of the collected data. Splunk also allows to install apps to extend systems functionality. Here is the Splunk download URL. Here is a rank 5 tool. Caps are free. Caps are free is a network analyzer that allows to monitor the network traffic, troubleshoot the network issues and analyze the packets. It performs a real-time 
packet capturing, network monitoring, advanced protocol analyzing, and in-depth packet decoding and automatic analyzing. And it supports almost 300 network protocols, Amazon and email monitor, Yahoo Messenger filters and autosave, and customizable reports and dashboards. These are additionally available with CAPSA. Use CAPSA Network Analyzer, choose the adapter we want to bind and click Start to initiate the capture process. CAPSA free tool is available in this particular URL, you can download. It's from Colasoft.com. The rank 4 is a Pandora of FMS, a Pandora flexible monitoring system. Pandora FMS is a software monitoring system for IT infrastructure management. It includes network equipment, Windows and Unix server, virtual infrastructure and all kind of applications. It allows monitoring in a visual way and the performance of several parameters from the different operating system, servers, applications and hardware system such as firewalls, proxies, database, web servers and routers. Pandora FMS is used to measure the bandwidth of the network by querying your router or switch through SNMP or processing the net flow statistics sent by the router. Log into Pandora FMS web UI to start by working to the agent detail and services node from the left hand navigation pan. And this can be downloaded from this particular URL from filehippo.com. The rank 3 is Open Network Management System. It's a free and open source enterprise grade network and it's a network monitoring tool. Offers performance measurement, notification management, service assurance and automated discovery. It was designed to manage tens of thousands of devices from a single server as well as manage unlimited devices using a cluster of servers. The goal of OpenNMS is a scalable management application platform for all aspects of FCAPS network management. Once you have successfully logged into OpenNMS web UI, you are able to see the dashboard to get a snapshot of any alarms, outage and notifications. Everything is here. And you can download this tool, it's open source, it's sourceforce.com, .net, it's available over there. And the rank 2, it's Microsoft Network Monitor. It's a packet analyzer, it enables capturing, weaving and analyzing the network packets and decoding network protocols. It can be used to troubleshoot network problems and applications on the network. The network monitor installation provides the help file which explains the network monitor API and includes some sample programs. The install will also provide the header and library files need to build applications that use the API. And here is the URL to download your network monitor tool. So the rank 1 tool is a GFI land guard. You are able to see the visualization of GFI Langard. It starts with the list with the GFI Langard. So this is the rank one one. It's used to scan both the small and large networks in search of software vulnerabilities and unlicensed application. Information coming up from 60,000 devices running on Windows, Mac OS or Linux will be shown in a centralized web console. So we'll be able to see the state of whole network at any moment and this is the download URL. That's it. Thanks for watching our Wikitech videos and uh, you are able to see more technology videos in our YouTube channel in Wikitech technology tutorials. And for school related information it's Wikitech school. And uh, in YouTube go to interview related stuff for Wikitech interview tips. And uh, if you love our videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and this is our website. For more technical contents, you can go to our website and search it. 
and apart from this like uh, if you are looking for more videos from us you can include our whatsapp number in your whatsapp group so that we will be sending a lot of technical videos via whatsapp and if you have any questions or queries or comments you can post in our videos in youtube channel so that our expert team will answer it and here is our website and our facebook url that's it thank you from wikitiki.com